I'm Ryan, it's Thursday, and this is We Internet. Alright, so number one, Jen, congratulations on your diploma, that's a really big thing. Um, two, Maddie, I haven't looked at it yet, but I will look at your personal channel and subscribe and such. I hope you're enjoying what you're doing, it can be really, really tedious to spend a lot of time editing video, but, you know, if you're happy with the final product and you're happy with what you're creating, then I definitely think it's worth it. And Romy, let's never talk about that. And the only thing that's kind of like new and exciting in my life is that I do multimedia, which is a HSE course. I don't know if you would have heard of it. It doesn't run in a lot of places, but it's like part graphic design, part animation, but mostly general filmmaking. And I'm really, really into that, and I love filmmaking. And just recently we've bought like a crap ton of new equipment, like my school has, I mean. And it's really super exciting for me because we have all these new lights and this whole setup, and it's just so much better. Like, it's so much more stuff to play with when you can control the temperature of the light and when you can control the brightness. And it's just, like, it just allows me to add, like, a level of complexity to the things that I'm making that I just wouldn't be able to have without all this equipment. And I think that's such a great thing for my school to do because the division between somebody who does have this stuff and someone who doesn't have this stuff is really pretty severe. And I feel like... I'm being really well supported by my school in this, and I think that is an awesome thing. Also, something that kind of freaked me out when I found out about it, um, freaked me out in a good way, but surprised me, um, my school has, like, a model room. Like, the guy that teaches filmmaking at my school had a model room built in one of the buildings that is just, like, the size of, like, an average-sized bedroom, I guess, maybe a little bit larger, that just, it looks like a room, but it has no ceiling, and it only has three walls, so, like, you can get all these camera angles and stuff in it that you wouldn't be able to get in an actual room, and I'm just so incredibly excited and, like, freaked out by the idea that we have this thing, and that I can use it for whatever I want, and it, I just think it's the coolest thing ever, and it's so well set up, and I had never even heard about it until one day when my teacher just took us in there and went, if you ever want to use this, just ask me and I'll unlock it for you. And it's kind of doing my head in, because, like, this room is seriously perfect. Like, it just, it looks like a normal room. It has a pile of furniture in it that you can pull in and out depending on your needs. One of the walls can be, like, completely released by a green screen that's lowered down from the ceiling whenever you want it and there's, like, a window in the wall, but, you know, because it's inside, the window doesn't lead anywhere. The window just leads to, like, this little space between two walls that's, like, this thick that they've filled up with lighting equipment, so you can flick all that on, or some of it on, or whatever, and close the blinds over the window and create, like, night and day effects and light coming through the curtains, and, oh... It's kind of occurring to me that I've spent this entire video just thinking about things that I think are cool and, like kind of completely skated over the fact that one of the intermets was in hospital, one of the intermets is about to get a diploma, yeah. Great work.